Do you hear what they said to you? Do you have identification? What is your policy state here? Do you have to identify? Sir, do you have identification? I would like Can to Can you know please you stop are. coming up on me? Look, you're putting me into a corner. Stop. There's no corner here. Stop. I would like you're to You're putting me up against the wall and I don't like it. You need to stop. You need to stop. Don't do anything. Don't. I'm, I have no weapons. I'm not a danger to you. I'm you doing. No I am committing a first, a first amendment protective activity. You will violate my rights if you touch me. Don't do this. What are you doing? You have for? identification. We'd like to know what you're doing on our parking lot. I don't care what you want to know. I don't answer questions. Am I under arrest? Uh, am I being detained? Identify yourself. You may be. Hello, and welcome back to Legal Descent, where we evaluate your constitutional rights before they're taken away. In just a little over two months, we are already at 1,500 subscribers, and we are absolutely thrilled with the progress that we are making. Please continue to help us grow by joining our community and subscribing to the channel if you're enjoying the content that we produce. Today, we evaluate the First Amendment audit of Long Island Audit that he conducted on March 8, 2021 in Suffolk County, New York. Make sure to visit his channel and let him know that Legal Descent sent you. As always, the links to the original channel, video, case law, and statutes are in the description below. Long Island Audit is filming the cars and other items that are visible to the public in the parking lot of the Suffolk County Police Department headquarters when he is approached by three alleged police officers all in plain clothes. Hey. County police. Okay. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't, don't, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. don't touch me, please don't. I don't consent to no search and seizures. I don't. I'm in public place. I don't. Con whoa, 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 relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because you coming up here running on me, trying to okay. grab me. Don't grab me. Don't touch me. I'm not trying to grab you. Okay. Do don't. You have ID. You're on Listen. You you're a cop. De-escalate the situation. Oh, That's you what you're trained to do, right? Sir. That's what you're trained to do. Whoa, whoa. De-escalate. No, no. De-escalate. I do not. I do not consent to any searches or seizures. I haven't broken the law. Stop backing. You're cornering me in a court. So many issues in less than a minute of interaction with these police officers. First, the officers are clearly the aggressors here. This group of three men immediately began positioning themselves to surround the auditor and apply pressure on him that would make any reasonable person feel uneasy and afraid. These officers are also starting to claim things like, you need to give us your ID and you're committing a crime, you're trespassing, all of which is not true. As we have discussed before, you are legally allowed to film anything that you are legally allowed to see. The parking lot of a police department is open to the public as long as there is no signage restricting it to public access or fencing that would allow a reasonable person to know that it is closed off. In the state of New York, there are three degrees of trespassing. The only one that would apply in this case is trespassing in the third degree, which is defined in New York Penal Code section 140.10. Out of all the subsections included, the only one that could even potentially apply in this instance is subsection A. A person is guilty of criminal trespass in the third degree when he knowingly enters or remains unlawfully in a building which is fenced or otherwise enclosed in a manner designed to exclude intruders. There was no fencing. There was no signage. There were no telltale signs that would let Long Island Audit know that he was not allowed in the parking lot. Therefore, he is legally allowed on the parking lot, and the threat from the officer that he was illegally trespassing is clearly wrong. Listen. You're putting me in a stop corner. Identification. Please. Please stop. Please stop. I know. Look. You're pushing me into a do corner. I don't want you touching me. I don't care. Do what you is your name and badge number? Do you have identification? What is your name and badge we number? Why first. are you coming up behind me? We asked you first. This is quite possibly one of the most childish and immature responses a law enforcement officer could provide in this situation. Demanding the identification of a citizen to a police officer enables that officer to know where you live, what your background check consists of, and significantly more. This is way more intrusive than the auditor asking for the officer's name and badge number. Further, Long Island Audit is under no legal obligation to provide his ID. In the state of New York, there is no requirement to give a police officer your identification unless you have been arrested or issued a summons. Stop. What are you guys doing? I do not feel safe. I do not feel safe. We do not feel safe. I'm not, I'm not the one running up on you. Sir, What's you your name and badge number? You What's you your name and badge number, sir? Yes, what's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number, sir? What's your name? I'm asking you what's your name what's and badge name? number. You made contact with me. Yeah. What does your policy state here? Do 
you hear what they said to you? Do you have identification? What is your policy state here? Do you have to identify? Sir, do you have identification? I would like Can to you know please you stop are. coming up on me? Look, you're putting me into a corner. Stop. There's no corner here. Stop. I would like you're to putting know. me up against the wall and I don't like it. You need to stop. You, you need to stop. Don't do anything. Don't. I'm, I have no weapons. I'm not a danger to you. I'm we doing. Have no idea I am committing a first, a first amendment protective activity. You will violate my rights if you touch me. Don't do this. What are you doing? You have for? identification. We'd like to know what you're doing in our parking lot. I don't care what you want to know. I don't answer questions. Am I under arrest? Uh, Am I being detained? Identification. Identify yourself. You may be. Again, there is no law obligating Long Island Audit to identify here. The officer is making an empty threat to maybe detain him if he doesn't comply with his orders. This has nothing to do with law, policy, or or procedures, it has everything to do with respect and intimidation. No, 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 no. You see, you can lie, but that's not the case. Listen, am I am I being detained? Listen, you gotta relax. You can, listen. I'm. You're I talked to two officers. No, right? you are. Go to one escalator. You are. Okay. I talked to two you're officers on like camera before this, you're, and they were you're, fine. You're, you you're guys are surrounding me, ma'am. This officer is now accusing the auditor of escalating the situation when the officer and his buddies are the ones who approached the auditor, surrounded the auditor, threatened to possibly detain the auditor for failing to ID, and accusing the auditor of trespassing on public property. But yeah, okay, sure, it's the auditor who is escalating the situation by performing constitutionally protected legal activities and retreating from a group of angry armed men. I don't know if these guys are cops. Can you please just protect officers. me? Okay. No you don't need protection. Just take a deep breath and have they, a conversation. We're all how do you surround people? Sir, we're all having a conversation, right? Okay, let's have a conversation. No problem. All right, what's going on today? Nothing. What's I'm not doing anything. I'm come. I'm. You actually are doing something. I am You're in a police department's parking lot. I am. Videotaping. Can I tell you what I'm doing? You are doing something. You are in a police department's parking lot videotaping. This is the equivalent of a grocery store employee going up to a shopper and saying, you're doing something. You're pushing your shopping cart down the dairy aisle and placing eggs and milk in it. Law enforcement, wake up and understand that people performing legal activities does not create a reasonable, articulable suspicion for a crime. Do you want me to tell you? To I'm going to answer this one question for you. Ready? I'm engaging in a First Amendment protected activity. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution, ma'am? Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? Sure did. So protect me from these guys sir, and let me continue doing my constitutional right. That's it. What? I talked to two officers before this and they were very nice. Today? What are you trying to accomplish today? What am I trying to accomplish today? I'm trying to, whatever I want. I'm working on a story. These cop cars look cool. I want to look at them. You're working on the story for what? For personal use. I'm not answering any more questions. Am I being detained? Not right at this moment. Okay, so what are we doing here? So what are we doing? At some point, what? This is public, so you need to learn the law. If you're gonna, if you're gonna uphold the law, you need to learn are. the law. You could be a terrorist, you could be a That's the problem, wanted man. criminal. Listen, we don't know who you are. You could be a terrorist. You could be a wanted criminal. This is the quintessential issue with police in today's society. What rational human being sees an individual in a public area filming in broad daylight and thinks, ah, this must be a terrorist? Well, I've got news for you, Mr. Unnamed Officer from the Suffolk County. Police Department, you are no Jack Ryan. Listen, anybody on the street could be a terrorist or a criminal, but you guys have to learn the law. You don't come up to me. Listen, you came up to me and started grabbing me, man. That's not cool. I saw a video. I have a wide angle lens, so guess what? It's going to see you grabbing me. And is touching another citizen an assault? Okay. I want a complaint for him. I want a complaint for him. He's not giving me his name. He grabbed me. Here's the thing. You're not giving us your name. I don't sir. care. You don't need my name, ma'am. You know what? When a lawful officer... No, you officer don't. I guarantee you I will leave here and you won't have my name, sir. Guarantee you that. All right? I guarantee you that. Okay. You're being lawfully asked for identification. You are... No, you're not. Listen, there is no stop an ID state in, in, in New York. You can't just ask me. Have I committed I a crime? can ask you. You can ask me whatever you want. You can ask me what the color of the sky is. You can ask me what size shoe I am. But I can answer you and say, no, thank you. I'm trying to be respectful. No, thank you. I don't want it. I don't consent to any searches. I don't consent to any seizures. I don't want to identify myself. The auditor is 100% accurate. There is no stop and ID statute in the state of New York. He is not legally required to give his ID. The officer is legally allowed to ask anything she wants, including for his ID. But the auditor stuck to his guns and said, no, thank you. That's it. 
I'm not committing a crime. I have no weapons. I'm not a threat to you. You're I'm trying. I told this man, listen, just DS. No, I have no weapons. No weapons. Would you open up your coat and show us that you have no weapons? Sure. I'll do that for you. Just, to, just so that way. Look, I'm opening up my coat. Just so that way you don't know. I appreciate it. Safety. That. Safety first. I have nothing. I have nothing. Look, I'm going to turn around. I appreciate that. I'm going to turn around. Can I have you nothing. Can the other side as well, sir? Sure. I have nothing. Okay. I'm going to turn around. I'll do it. No okay. problem. Because I, I, I want your safety first. You That's what it's about. I it's want your safety, safety first. Look, keys. keys. All right. I really like this auditor, and I love the way he refused to ID. I understand his desire for safety first, as he puts it, but I would not recommend anyone doing this. You have no reason or obligation to empty out your pockets or to spin around for the officer to make them feel at ease. The issue here is that when you open yourself to scrutiny from the police officers, they could potentially see something that allows them to further escalate the investigation. While it's not necessarily wrong for him to be this compliant, I would not recommend it because it opens you up to a higher level of scrutiny by people that we do not trust. I want safety first, but this man, now you came over here and started touching me, man. That's not cool. That's not cool. We check your cameras, buddy. Okay. All right, we'll recheck the cameras. At the beginning of the counter, Hanley did approach the auditor. He did reach out with his arm as if to touch the auditor, but I don't believe he actually made contact. When the auditor expressed his unwillingness to be touched, Hanley did retract his hand. Compared to other incidents we've seen, this is relatively minor. What do you guys think? If you were on a jury, would you rule that this is an offensive or harmful contact? The bigger issue to us is the amount of unprofessionalism and the disregard for the law that was expressed by all three of the officers involved by demanding his ID and threatening to detain him for trespassing. Okay, no, I know what I, I know what I, check my cameras. Okay, right. I want to complain for him. Okay, the front <laughs> office is around this building to the right hand side. You can walk in the All right, thanks. And, speak to and what's your name, sir? Hanley. What? Hanley. Hanley, how do I spell it? H A N L E Y. I'm just gonna ask you what's your Listen, I'm not a one I don't I showed you I'm not a threat. I have no weapons on me. I showed you I'm not a threat. Who's this? Other officers in uniform. Look, okay, great. Yeah, because listen, wait. But well, you, you guys this is a police headquarters and you guys come at me with this regular guys. Okay, I get it. You guys are detectives, whatever, undercover, plain clothes, but I mean, he did come out with his badge, but you can't be touching me like that and putting me up against you know the wall, man. Having a conversation and answering questions keeps things I'm at trying. A level. They didn't even ask me a question, ma'am. They just came up to me and put me into the corner. I, if they would listen, you came here and dis, listen, you did your job. You came here mm -hmm. and you de escalated what you're trained to do. Mm -hmm. And what did I do in return? I showed you I'm not armed and I've been nothing but respectful towards you. How about you. we move on with our day? I mean, you can move on with your day whenever you'd like, ma'am. I don't know what you what you need to do, but you can go and do whatever you want to do. I'm not I'm not stopping you from doing your job, man. Hamley, you got a badge number? Six five five. Six five five. Thank you. Uh, um, so I'm not being detained, correct? Not at this point in time. Sir. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. And you said I can get um complaint forms in there, right? Out of this building, around to the right. There's a main office. You can speak with them at the front desk. Okay. You guys got complaint forms. They do exist. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Hanley. Hey, listen. I don't want to. I don't want to put a. Um. I don't want to put a complaint on you if I don't have to. You could just apologize to me, and we can move on as I men. Did, I did nothing wrong. So you're not gonna apologize to me for touching me. All right. You could have just apologized. I didn't want to. I don't want to have to file a complaint, okay. but I mean, that's what you want to do. To Long Island Audit's credit, he went and filed a complaint. He spoke to two officers for close to 15 minutes. It's pretty obvious from the conversation that you can watch by finding the link in the description below that nothing will happen. But we'll continue to watch and see what updates he provides. What do you guys think? Were the officers justified to believe he might have been a terrorist walking around the parking lot with a dangerous weapon? Like a video camera? Or was the auditor too nice? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time right here on Legal Descent.